When you picture a judge, you probably think white hair and a hammer. That hammer is called a gavel, and today we're going to be looking at judges having no choice but to use them. Let's get right into it. Here we have the time we had multiple judges arguing, so you can only imagine how many times the gavel got slammed. The gentleman's time has expired. We will now proceed to the first round of questions. Point of order. Pursuant. Gentleman will state his point of order. We've been told that counsel for the Democrats was a witness. And that's why he didn't have to comport with the rules of decorum. And now he's sitting up here. Let me state a point. I've been a judge, and I know that you don't get to be a witness and a judge in the same case. That's my point of order. He should not be up here. It's not a point of order. Gentleman is not recognized for parliamentary uh, agreement. Mr. Chairman, what is the Gentleman this? is not recognized. The gentleman, Mr. Burke, has the time. We're going to ignore the rules. We are not allow witnesses to ask the questions. Then the gentleman how will many suspect. other rules are you doing? just going to disregard. Gentlemen are su will suspend. Parliamentary inquiries are not in order at this time. Well, how about a point, point, of order. point of order? This is not appropriate to have a the witness have a point be a questioner have a point of, of order, somebody that was a witness when he was. The gentleman will suspend. It's just the wrong. Will well, I made a point of order and you won't rule on it. I have not heard a point of order. Next, we have the Sean Rikers trial. He went crazy on the judge. Oh, you got me looking like a clown. Uh, Stupid you! Here we go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. you! Yeah! I'm killing all you Wayne. I got your address, Wayne Merrick. I got your home address. I got address. I got address and I'm having you all killed. The people he's referring to are members of the prosecution team. There ain't nothing you're gonna do about it either. You know why? Because this is a state that doesn't have a death penalty. You're gonna sentence me to life? Don't give a Don't give a I'm getting mine, you Not satisfied berating the judge, Riker sends his wrath in the direction of the prosecutor. You this that I'm Mr. Riker, are you? What the f do you want? Later! But the judge brought down his gavel and sentenced him to 200 years in prison. Riker did not show up for his sentencing. Now we have the time Jesse Rose was in court. He appeared in court for this incident, where he was extremely intoxicated and threw a fit in a bar. He ended up hurting one of the security guards. Let's see how he reacted to his 14-month sentence. Rose reacted quite badly to his sentence. He kicked the door open and proceeded to throw not one but two chairs to the guards. Luckily enough, one of the guards managed to sneak around and tackle him. For his outburst, the judge had given him an extra eight months to his 14-month conviction. Next up, we have a case where Judge Hurley had to bring his hammer down. Finds probable cause. He makes a request that will come back to haunt him. Turn on the mic, please, somebody. Your Honor. Yes, sir. You know me, don't you? No. Before Judge Hurley can get another word in, this rocker breaks into a solo. I was going to to pick up my scripts. They said it was a 45 minute wait for some reason. I'm walking around shopping. I go to the bathroom to take a piss and wash my hands. And the manager's in there waiting for me, thinking I'm shoplifting. I wasn't shoplifting anything. No? No. My first, second, third, fourth, thirteenth, fourteenth amendment rights have been violated. But this defendant has been arrested before for shoplifting. Check out what happens next. Two things worth noting. Mr. DiMatteo was arrested September 14th of this year at a Mexican restaurant. Where allegedly, he ran up a bill for $256.26. He refused to leave or pay your first tab. Additionally, on September 29th of this year, okay. he was placed on 18 months probation for grand theft. As Judge Hurley checks on the details of the pending charges, Di Matteo can be seen growing more animated with the public defender. And when his mic gets turned back on... Good, Your Honor? So it's a sidebar. Yes, he raises his hand and asks the judge for a sidebar. Good, Your Honor? So it's a sidebar. Wait, no, stop, Your Honor. stop, 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 stop. It's not your turn. After being muted once again, Di Matteo decides to... 
drum up some more attention. Oh boy. As the performance continues, Mr. Miller, public defender Dale Miller hangs his head and makes the executive decision not to unmute the defendant. Mr. Miller? I think he's trying to give him an opportunity to calm down, Judge. Ultimately, the courtroom concert is cut short, and DiMatteo is forcibly removed by court security. Please sit down. Your Honor. We're not, ma'am, I'm not having too much time to sit down. Okay. Next up, we have the time the Shane Bride trial went south. When suddenly, <laughs> this begin to fly. That was the least of the judge's worries because the defendant is seen walking towards them in this clip. The man approaching the fight in the orange jumpsuit is Shane Byrd, the defendant. After a few minutes, his wife, Ingrid Byrd, is removed from the scene and orders restored. But the incident is far from over, as Judge Leach is not now for the judge to speak. He was definitely not happy. And everybody that was in there, the lady with the red purse, you need to go to the jury box. Who else was involved in that fight? I ain't got no red. All right. The judge is not allowing any of the participants to leave. Red purse, I told you to come up here. Put him right there. Put him in that front row. Who else was in that? Where's my law enforcement on that? And don't think the judge has forgotten about the defendant. Uh, the fellow over here that uh, got up out of the jury box. Who else is there? Y'all got names on everybody that's in that? No. You got up out of the jury box, and I told you not to when you were running over there saying that was your wife. Everybody that was in that is getting 30 days in jail on contempt. Now we have the time Alexandria Ocasio had to use her gavel on an ICE member. Uh, would you like to address, uh, and would you please address any of the... Yeah, I want to address the last comments made about me being appalling. And, and, and first of all, I served my country for 34 years. I saved many lives, and I ran an agency. Let's be frank in what ICE does. I, ICE last year took a, a season of op opioids off the streets of this country that could have killed every man, woman, and child in the United States twice. They've arrested thousands of sexual predators that, that pre uh, uh, preyed on children. They rescued thousands of children who were, who were victims of, of predators. They arrested hundreds of women who were victims of sex trafficking. I am proud of the agency in ICE. And what we don't want to talk about is nearly 90% of everybody ICE arrests for immigration violations either have a criminal history or are pending criminal charges when they were found. I mean, they were found in a county jail, which most likely means they weren't a choir boy. So to, to mismeasure what the, the work the men and women of ICE do is, I find appalling that a member of Congress would, would, would throw that out there like that. The I, it, it, in my 34 Mr. years, Mr. I've never seen such hate toward a law enforcement agency in my life that you want to abolish Holman, them the rather doing expired. your job and Mr. legislate. Mr. Holman, your if time they don't is like expired. it, legislate. You cannot, if, I, Mr. I Holman, Congress according to the rules of this committee, of enacting laws. Mr. Holman, who, who your time is expired. Next convict's name is Karen. She got sentenced to 20 years in prison for drunk driving and murder. Facing this 20 years, and by law, I can't run them consecutive. I must run them concurrent. The court thus sentenced you in honor of the life of Lisa Deducey to a term of 20 years in the custody of the Mississippi Department of In honor of the life of Mark Pope, the court sentences you to 20 years in the custody of the Mississippi Department of Correction. Because this court does believe that Stuart Irby had a hand in that wheel that night, the court reduces the sentences of 20 years by two years and run each of those concurrently. You will thus spend 18 years in the custody of Mississippi Department of Correction for the life of Dr. Polk and 18 years in the custody of Lisa. If the bailiff will take you into custody, you're bound over to the Hines County Detention Center until such time as you can be transferred to the custody of Mississippi Department of Correction.